Hello, it's Tamara Hunter on uh, number 26, day 26 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. And I am still here in Lake Tahoe, uh, Incline Village, Nevada. Hello. And I am celebrating the the book. Oh, I'm getting some love. I Thank you. Thank you very much. I am celebrating a book today. And it's called Launch. And I know it's backwards, and I'm sorry for that. But it's called Launch. Let your setbacks. Hi, Jane. So glad to see you. Um, let your setbacks propel you forward. And you can at least see with the picture that it's a slingshot. And the idea of a slingshot is that sometimes things take you, oh, thank you for all the love. I love it. The, the slingshot can take you back. And, and sometimes, you know, and, and you feel like, oh, man, I don't know if I can keep going. I don't know if I can keep going. But you don't give up. And then, you go forward. And this book... It's it's a Amazon number one best selling book in three categories, and I'm actually um, highlighting one of the speakers in the book. Also, I want to celebrate the whole book, but one of the speakers in the book when I spoke on stage the other day, it, uh, I I actually talked about Gina, and her name is Gina Estrada, and she is a speaker, but she is she's also a financial co uh, consultant, and she is a someone that is um, um, mer so glad to hear that you know what the one thing that we yes yes faith <sighs> miracles happen absolutely and 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 there's so much hope out there and that is one of my big messages in everything that I share um, but in getting back to Gina Gina was diagnosed with the same cancer that my mother ended up having and Gina has been able to um, that is so wonderful Jane I am so happy to hear this you know and and Gina also multiple myeloma which is bone marrow cancer is what Gina uh, was diagnosed with and she shared what got her through the her experience in that she for 30 days thank you for the love and she for 30 days before she was diagnosed she had started a program uh, a daily um, routine oh, thank you and and to help all of those that are, are suffering not only from cancer but there are so many that have life's issues that they are trying to overcome and launch their lives and go, overcoming their setbacks and going forward. And that's why I wanted to celebrate this book. In fact, it, you know, it's stories of hope, inspiration, and triumph. I, wanna, I want to encourage you to, to support this book. It is um, written by a number of, of authors. And I have read these stories, and I have met many of these authors. And I'll tell you, this is not just one of those books to get your name on a book and, and be able to, you know, say, hey, I'm a best-selling author. No. These are actually people that have significant, hey, Diane, um, these are These are authors that have significant stories that that have overcome some pretty um, huge life challenges and they share it and they share how not just I mean there's some feel-good stuff but there's actionable um, ways of going about and and you know concrete ways of being able to possibly in incorporate those ideas into your own life to possibly move forward and slingshot yourself into a better situation and have that forward momentum going in a positive direction and um i 20 days 28 days you you thank you you know it and I'm talking about Gina. Gina actually 
in this book had same cancer as my mom, um, Karen, and multiple myeloma, um, bone marrow cancer, which is one of the most painful cancers that you can definitely have. And I have met Gina, and you know what? She, you talk about a rock star. She is a major rock star. And in my mind, oh my gosh, you know, and here, in fact, as I'm talking, let me show you her. But she, she had lunch with me yesterday. And, um, and as I got to visit with her even that much more, you know, and she was talking about how it is that she, she, you know, was, was um, starting a new, a new program in her life and getting up and and having some good habits and when she was her husband actually said we're going to the emergency room and she woke up in the hospital and you know what she started back because she had been doing these new habits these new processes for herself and she had done them for 30 days they were a habit now um, Look at the picture. This is her picture. She has more hair now. Um, she's rocking a new hairstyle. And this is Gina. Gina, to me, is a service hero. She is not just a service hero. She is a major service rock star. And, um, you know, maybe what I'll start doing is reading some from this book because it is becoming one of my new favorite books. And it's called Launch. Let your setbacks propel you forward. You can find it on Amazon and it says it's written by best-selling, award-winning, inspirational authors and entrepreneurs. And you know what? These people, some of them have written other books, um, self-published and actually published by others. And so, and it was a compilation of, they had to actually not try out, but they had to um, submit their offerings, and the best ones were chosen for this book. And they are going to do a second version of it. I can't wait to see it. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys. And I know that I didn't share anything yesterday. I was actually on stage yesterday. And um, it was so exciting and so exhilarating. And I was so exhausted by the time I was done with everything. That I didn't make it on live, and I'm sorry. But forgive me for that, you know. Um, this this old bird is, you know, she's, I, I'm... I am living a, a, a new exciting life and getting out there and sharing a message that I'm so passionate about. I was able to share about the buddies and chemo buddies for life and why it is that I feel that no one should face cancer alone or anything really big in life. But really I, I discussed how if you do not isolate yourself and you go forward and and for those that know people that are are experiencing cancer or anything huge, you know, but primarily cancer, don't let them isolate themselves because they will do so much better and they will be stronger for it. And you, you'll have a bonding experience. I had some people come out to me afterwards, and you know what? I will never forget this. There was one woman. Um, we we went straight just about um, it was just after maybe a couple more speakers after me and then we had lunch and we only had a very short break and there was a buffet right next to us so we went to the buffet line and I hadn't even really gotten much uh, on my plate and this woman came up to me and she basically just started you know, sharing her short story and I ended up giving her a huge hug in the middle of the buffet line and we were crying there together when she was sharing her story about one of her friends and that had isolated herself and she was angry with this person and this person had passed and she needed to get it out. So it's not just the patients that need to not be isolated. Those people that love and support you know, those patients. You, you know, you also need to be able to share and you need to be able to get it out and don't hold it in. Whatever you need to do, it's like this book. This book, again, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. Um, there are stories. There's a couple of stories that are directly tied into my message. And I think that that's why this book resonates so much with me. So anyway, I wanted to say thank you. 
Thank you, everyone, that is supporting my mission. I'm starting to hear from you. I'm starting to get messages from you. I'm starting to hear from you in regards to family members that need help. I'm, I'm hearing from others that need ideas and direction. And I'm here for you. And I want to thank you for being there for me. I want to encourage, you know, this is... Um, I'm, I'm in the Pacific time zone in the United States and, and it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Incline Village, uh, Lake Tahoe. And I am going to be preparing for my next week. And I'm going to be thinking about what it is that I can do to help Chemo Buddies because Chemo Buddies, we, we really do need to get this direction going and we are in a, a you know, we are, we are in a place where we are about to take off in true growth, and I'm excited about it. But being an executive director and co-founder holds a lot of responsibility. So what am I going to do? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to plan. And I'm going to encourage you, like I did last week, that get your calendars out. And, and let's get in some good habits as we're learning about service. Serving ourselves and serving others, sometimes it... Time management is involved, so get your calendars out, plan for your week, and see where you can be, where you can accomplish your major goals, where you can serve others, and in serving others, it's amazing how things, the, the, the energy and, and life, we have so many things that can happen when we are looking to do good for others and for those that we serve and it will come back to even ourselves and it's not about us it's about others but and in serving others we are going to have the energy and we are going to get that love to keep us going forward and that is a collective good so I am so excited to be sharing this message on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon, get out those calendars and plug in, you know, what it is that you need to do. Think about your goals. What is it that's most important to you? Look at those most important things and what can you really accomplish? And then in there, build in time for you to become your better self, to serve yourself so that you can serve others. And remember to always be looking for those opportunities to do a random act of kindness when you're out and about remember to smile to you know at someone and if someone seems grumpy and maybe even rude and mean don't assume anything please don't assume that that they're anything more than maybe even having one of the most horrible days in their lives and maybe a little kindness will turn that around maybe you won't see it turn but maybe it will turn around for them, and then they'll pay it forward. So remember to serve others, and in doing so, we will be serving our communities, and even more than that, more importantly, those that we love and care for. Have a wonderful day. I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. I have so much exciting things happen this next week. And I am going to be having some fun with Facebook Live. Oh, by the way, I am going to be on a radio show tomorrow morning. I do not have all the details yet, but as soon as I do, I will be posting them. So tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock in the morning Pacific time is all I know so far. And it's going to be myself and another cancer survivor, brain cancer survivor, and a man that's been doing some amazing things in Reno, Nevada. So <clears throat> look forward to that. I'm going to be sending out that information as soon as I get it. You take care, everyone, and have an awesome day and an even better week. And remember to serve those that are around us. And in doing so, we will make this world a better place. Let's do it together. Bye.